Bonjour à tous et Quebec. I don't speak French very well. In fact, I speak no French at all. So that was probably the limit of my French address here. My name is Larry Smith. I represent a group out here in Alberta. We have perhaps 60,000 members in our group looking to succeed or become independent from Canada. Very similar to the people in Quebec. We began this movement several years ago now and have somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 60,000 followers. And during this time, I happened to cross a fella in Quebec named Mr. Guy Bertrand. And we began talking about our common goals and our common interests, which was the succession of Alberta, as well as the succession of Quebec from Canada. And in our talks, we came to realize that Alberta and Quebec have far more in common than people realize. Perhaps our major difference is the language we speak. And as we continued uh, to speak, and started to see that perhaps we could come together and work together, it became an exciting idea. And Mr. Guy Bertrand formed a group called Project Liberté Nation, Freedom Nation. I'm sorry, my, my French just, just isn't there. But this is an exciting movement for the people of Quebec. Probably and possibly because it's led by the most competent man in all of Canada. And I was really excited to begin working with Mr. Bertrand. I believe the people of Quebec and the people of Alberta can work together in this common goal. I know for my life, it wouldn't have been a reality. It seems the uh, people of Quebec have always been against the, others, the other people in Canada. But that has changed. I began preaching a unity movement three years ago, and I wanted to include Quebec, and Western Canada gave me about 60% approval. But through education and my persistence, today I have attained my last poll 83%. 83% of Western Canadians that I address want to work with Quebec and solve this problem we have in Canada. We would be a group that even the government of Canada can't imagine. People would be stunned to know that Quebec and Alberta and Western Canada not only could, but we can work together. In the last 50 years, there's been animosity between us, and yet we fought for the same goal. We need to work as one and look at the bigger picture, set differences aside if there is that many, and look at the bigger picture. Once we attain our goal, the nation of Quebec can choose its own language. They can choose their own laws, just as Alberta could, just as Saskatchewan could, and any other province that wants to succeed. And then at that time you could form your political beliefs, whether you were going to be right, left, middle of the road. But the bigger picture today is not the base of the politics itself. It's the movement and the success of the movement. We're in dire times. Quebec, in a few years, will lose its culture. And shortly after that, it will lose its language. Alberta, 
We're fighting for our resources. In a few years' time, the government could come looking to Quebec for their resources. And I know not many people in the West realize, but the James Bay project is a huge project that could still be expanded. Very few people in the West realize that Quebec sits on the world's fifth largest proven natural gas reserves. The government is going to come for those. They can't afford their social programs as they continue now. So we would like to appeal to everybody. Join with us. Let's unify. Let's work together. Let's shake hands. Forget the past. This can be done. I like to say to people, think about the Second World War. Germany was against England, Canada, France, and others. But the war wasn't assured. It wasn't until an enemy named Russia got involved to work on the side of the Allies, to work beside the Allies, to defeat Germany, that gave us the victory. And when that was finished, everybody went home. Russia went back to its way of life. Canadians came back to their way of life. The Americans went back to their way of life. But it proved one thing, that even enemies can work together for a common goal. And I don't like to think of us being enemies. I firmly believe with the resources in Quebec and the knowledge that we have in Alberta, if we can come together, if we can just work together, we can develop a very, very strong friendship <clears throat> and trade agreement with each other as independent nations. Quebec won't be alone. Quebec will not be alone. I would like to really encourage people, come together, join Mr. E. B. Grant in his project, in his group in Quebec. We will invite you into ours and together we will merge our resources and our desires and our strengths. And we will work together and we will win. And we will preserve the culture of Quebec. We will preserve the resources of Alberta. So again, I ask, just please give this strong consideration. Join us. Let your friends, family, co-workers know that there is a group, there is allies, there is friendships that we can win together. So again, I thank you for listening to me. I am sorry, I, I just don't speak French. I hope someday to be able to tell everybody why that is. I'm sure many would find it very, very amusing. Um, but again, thank you for your time. And I would look forward to bringing us all together to work for this common goal. So thank you again.